Hello friends, today we are going to study one of the most important topic that is mitochondria. Mitochondria is also regarded as powerhouse of the cell because it is the only cell organelle which supplies energy to each and every part of the cell in form of ATP. Whenever we draw mitochondria, first we have to draw one oval shaped structure. Just make it partial second membrane because the inner membrane is having fold. So like this you can draw those folds in a very simple way. And these folds are called as cristae. Inside the mitochondria there will be a matrix. On the cristae you are going to show this structure. It is called as F1 particle. Now this structure resembles somewhat like help and label lollipop structure. We need to keep it in mind. And inside the mitochondria there is a DNA, circular double stranded DNA and there are ribosomes. So basically these all become the structure of mitochondria. But here the crystal is not visible clearly. So what we are going to do, we are going to make one crystal out. So this folded finger like structures is called as crystal. And on the crystal we are going to draw the F1 particles. And when we focus on single F1 particle, we need to understand that it is somewhat like this. So let's explore the structure of mitochondria in detail. Mitochondria is double membrane structure, consists of outer membrane and it has inner membrane. Between the two membrane there will be a space. And the space is called as intermembranous space. Inter means between. The outer membrane and the inner membrane, they are basically made up of lipoprotein. Means structure wise, they are composed of protein with lipid part. Now, when we talk about inner membrane, it is not continuous, it has folded finger like structures called as cristae. Now inside the mitochondria, we need to understand the crista is inner membrane which is folded finger like structures. Now this folded finger like structure becomes the inner membrane. Inside the mitochondria, there is a matrix which is filled of fluid. Matrix consists of DNA and ribosome. When we talk about DNA, DNA is double stranded circular DNA and because of DNA, the mitochondria is self-replicating and semi-autonomous. It means mitochondria can replicate on its own. Inside the mitochondria, the ribosome which is of 70S type and the function is protein synthesis. When we talk about Cristae, it has special particles called F1 particle, which is also called as oxysome, or it is also called as elementary particle. So, this is Cristae representing F1 particles. F1 particle consists of three parts the head, the stalk, and the base. F1 particle is also called elementary particle. So, the head of the F1 particle and the stalk and the base, they are basically responsible for production of ATP. The energy produced in the ETS is produced through F1 particle. When you go for dimension of mitochondria, it is 0.5 to 1 micron in breadth and 1 to 4 micron in length. So friends, this is all about mitochondria. Hope you have understood the structure of mitochondria in a very simple way. And this is how you can draw and learn. Do subscribe to the channel. Give a like to the video if you have understood mitochondria. Thank you very much.